Hello, I'm Karen and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you how to make um, a hexagon cushion and the pattern that I'm using today is the word thank you or the words thank you. Okay, this is what it looks like. This is a finished result of one. I'm um, sorry I can't get it all into the video but if I have my camera too high then you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm just going to put that out of the way and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share with you um, just how to actually make one piece and then show you how to actually join okay so I've got three different colors of yarn I'm going to be using my um, four millimeter crochet hook which is my vintage hook I'm just going to just say I have actually got different brands of yarn so if you're going to use different brands of yarn make sure that you always follow your same color sequence otherwise your sizes will be slightly different Okay, um, I've got the actual pattern here, so if you've been following me before and you see how I use a word and I break it down, so these are the abbreviations, so the um, circle is the magic circle, the C is a chain, straight line down is a double crochet in the US or a triple crochet in the UK, a V stitch is double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the USA and in England it's triple crochet, chain one, triple crochet. And the sideways line is a slip stitch in the US or a single crochet in the UK. And if you're just a little bit unsure, um, I'm just, just going to get some of my pieces where I've actually, where, so what I was doing, I was making letters. Yeah, so you can crochet letters and this is how the pieces work. So that would be a letter T, obviously. And then if you wanted to say do a letter P, it would be that way around. But they're still actually the same components. Okay. And, um, oh, just so that you can see as well, this is the V, which if you put it with one there, and then another one to make the lowercase letter K, okay? <clears throat> right, so I'm just going to just leave the pattern there, just so that you can see as we actually go along, for those of you that want to actually do that. So I'm going to begin with the magic circle, where we just put the hook in and twist, and that will end up being our magic circle. And we're doing chain one and then I'm going to pull the circle so it's smaller so it's easier for me to work with and do my second chain so that's that first section there the next bit is to do a V stitch which is um, so it's the double crochet if you're in the US chain one or treble crochet chain one if you're in the UK so there's my V stitch and then so we're just using the same stitch or same stitches virtually all the way through so that's that piece there and the next section is to chain one and work two of the double crochet oops split my yarn so that's one and two we've got squeaky yarn hang on let's do the talcum powder again because that was supposed to help so sorry about that so we've done that one there and then we shall continue oh, tail ends in the way so it's chain one and work two stitches so that's one two it's still squeaking so it didn't work <laughs> chain one and work two stitches so that's one and two oh it is squeaking chain one and work two stitches there and then the very last bit is to do a chain one and slip stitch now I've been slip stitching in the second chain to do this one you can actually slip stitch right in the top there but if you do you end up with sort of a, a line over your um I'll show you so what I'll do is I'll slip stitch into there. Okay, so what you end up with is you've got your you've got little posts. So you've got sets of two and you should have six pairs. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just push the pattern out of the way. Because this is <clears throat> excuse me, based on the granny patterns, we then to be able to work out what the next stage is, is we just slip stitch our next colour into place. And I'm just pulling that tail in tight and then do a chain of two and work the double crochet 
chain one, double crochet, and a double crochet again if you're in the US, and they would be treble crochet stitches if you're in the UK. And then we've got what we're going to do is each of the chain one spaces, we're going to work two stitches, the chain one, and then two stitches again. Okay, so because this one is thank you, and if you watch my other videos, what I've been doing is I've been um, looking at the law of attraction and trying to study it so that you you can do positive affirmations to be able to train your brain or reprogram your brain, however you want to look at it. Um, or some people say it's self brainwashing, <laughs> um, so that you can actually have more positive things in your life. So with this one, so I what I did is each time you do a stitch, so it's that part of it, it's like a beat of the stitch. So, um, and the affirmation that I wrote for this one is all good things are flowing my way and I receive them with thanks. Just because it was a thank you one. Um, so I'll just demonstrate that. So it would be um, all, oops, all good things are flowing my way and I receive them with thanks <clears throat> and then what you can do is you can just say um, so for just one stitch you can just go thank you um, and then we're going to slip stitch again to join so as you can see look it made a line go across my actual stitch there so I'm going to slip stitch into the second chain so you can see the difference on this round um but you can see we now actually have what looks like a little hexagon coming across and then i'm going to change my color again so this time because i've slip stitched into the second chain i'm going to slip stitch into the next in the top of the next stitch and then slip stitch over and then begin so let's chain two and double crochet, chain one, and two double crochet. Now this difference with this particular round is that we're going to actually make two posts in between our pairs before we get to the next corner. Okay, and what you can do as well is you can extend your affirmation so that your affirmation can be every day in every way my life is getting better now all good things are flowing my way and i receive them with thanks but if you do it slowly with the stitches so it's like every day in every way my life is getting better now. It's a really, really slow way of doing it and it sort of sinks into your brain. And also, once it's sunk into your brain like that, you can do it with like when you're walking, so you can do it with the beat of your steps or if you like to do things like jogging. Um, so I just wanted to just share all of that and the other thing that I want to say is that I would like to mention um, a gentleman who commented on my happiness video um, so his name is Brandon I think you say his second name is Seawall um, so he's been a subscriber for quite a while and he's been following me of how I've been actually working out this crochet code and he asked a question about the capital letters and lowercase letters so as I demonstrated at the beginning of this video you can actually make a letter P so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just stop just on here and share with you a magic trick with this particular pattern so 
you've got all of these components here which make the word thank you but you can also have exactly the same sequence of symbols and it would make the word positivity so on here it looks like it's a capital P and also a capital S but that's just because I've done it like that let me just bring it up to the camera a little bit so you can see it better so I've done it like that so you can see the components of the actual letters as they're made just to make it make more sense and the V um, is this part of the K yeah so you actually so thank you is also positivity so this particular pattern is um, really well and truly <laughs> a good pattern for you to actually sit and crochet and you can think about all the nice things and think about that that you know if you're going to gift it away to somebody but yeah so but the thing is is um, I want to thank Brandon for his question and um, and also ask him if he would like me to do um, another video to show better details or um, it can actually go to if it goes to my videos um, you can see one it's called how to crochet um, geometric shapes with Cov Fefe I can't even say it Cov Fefe um, I know that there's a bit of controversy controversy about um, Mr Trump and everything but um, yeah because unfortunately I had to take one of my videos down because of him um, people kept sending me like horrible things because he was a mean person but anyway look just to distract a minute so you can see where we did the slip stitch into the top of the chain of the stitch it caused this little line to go across it but when you do it the way that I've showed you on this one where you slip stitch into the chain two it fits nicer but whichever way you look at it you never end up with a perfect centerpiece on this one unless it's just me just being a really bad crochet yeah? um but um i just thought i'd just share that and the other thing i want to share as well is um when you actually so this is i'm just just i've already done the next round just to show you so when you actually finish your piece you slip stitch to join like that and then what you want to do is where your tail end has gone into the stitch you want to come through the back to the front hook your little loop on it pull the tail end tight pull that loop through it you may end up with like a it might like twist or something um, but don't worry and then you just do like a chain at the end that makes a really really tight stitch at the very very end to stop your work from coming undone okay sorry um yep yeah, so as i was saying so um Brandon, if you want to go and watch the Cov Fefe video, so it's geometrical shapes, you can see both capital letters and lowercase letters because I've done the same word twice to show you how it crochets up different pieces. And what's important to me as well is that they're all making geometric shapes. And there is a reason, um, but I'm going to share that in another video because this one, oh, hang on, what we want to do next is show you how to join your pieces together. Okay, so you're going to need seven um, hexagons to be able to make the one that I've made for the smaller cushion and um, I just need to just cut off my yarn just hang on a minute let's cut off all of those because I've finished with all of those colors Oops. there we go um yeah so um so yeah so that's sorted out for Brandon so did I just call him Brendan I'm really sorry if I said Brendan it's Brandon <laughs> it's with an a um <clears throat> anyway so um so now I'm going to show you how to join. So you want to go from corner to corner and you're going to slip stitch into place. We've got two stitches so we're going to do a chain of two. So that's one, two and then we're going in between the pairs and doing another slip stitch and then chain two and in between there like that one two in between the pairs and then one two and into the corner okay that's a slip stitch now you want to do a chain one and then you're going to get your next piece because what you're going to do is work all the way around this center piece so then you get your tail end and you're going to go 
into that same corner that you've already worked just that one side and then pick up your second piece and go to there and slip stitch that bit into place and then it's chain two and you keep on working like that so you make all of the center piece so you go all the way right around the center and you'll end up they'll all be like flapping at the sides but then you do these bits at the end but you still go into do the same thing so you're going to you're going to come through the corner of this one and the corner of that one that you've already worked in just to finish off there to get you the nice finish okay um so um i think i've covered everything that i wanted to cover in this video so i just want to say um thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing and thank you for subscribing i do hope that you actually like the actual thank you pattern itself and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to just bring back the cushion and just show you quickly i've done a matching set so i've actually done gratitude um i also made happiness for it to go with it so that you can make yourself lovely little sets i made my mama set um in shades of green because she likes green um and i think i might use that actually as a picture of the front maybe i should use one of those but anyway um i do hope that you like this one and um brandon please leave another message for me at the end of this video and i'll put a link in your message so to link you to this video so hopefully you'll find it um so thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for sharing thank you for subscribing and um bye for now